Good morning, all of you. Good morning. Sir. Okay, let's start with our uh, next content. Okay, yesterday we all started uh, to study regarding the artificial neural network, and uh, regarding that, yesterday we have covered what exactly mean by the biological uh, neural network. and uh, that study will help us to understand what exactly is the artificial neural network is so yesterday we have discussed the biological neural network and uh, what exactly it plays its role uh, in the functioning of the human brain and uh, functioning or uh, performing the activity by the human being so uh, you can see uh, if you see the yesterday's point that we have discussed as a biological neural network it is a uh, consist of the billions of neurons which are being connected to each other and that each of the neurons is having their different components and with the help of that different components uh, the human nervous system works or the with the help of that whole network a uh, human can perform the various kind of activities like the human can perform the various kind of computation identification recognition comparison whatever the things that human being does that it does with the help of that biological uh, nervous system which is nothing but also referred as a biological neural network now my question to you is what now as a biological neural network which is being there as a part of the brain of the human now suppose if you want to create the artificial human such as a for example artificial agent or the robot now how it is possible to replicate same kind of this biological network in case of artificial human being or in case of the robot that is my question yes all of you understood the question how we can replicate the biological neural network in case of the robot or in case of the artificial human how it will be possible yes Now already we have studied the biological neural network and its functioning for the human being that is a so biological neural network in case of the human being is get created naturally when we when we born it comes within our bodies and in our brain automatically and as the day passes the time passes that different components sort of uh, components of our brain they get learns their development happens and accordingly our intelligence get built now if we want such kind of neural network if we want such kind of brain to be developed in the robot as we can call it as a artificial human then how it will become possible what has to be do, what has to be uh, done for that that is my question yes how it will become possible yes sonal shantanu all of you got the question or not yes sir then try to answer
So artificial brain takes input from external world. Hmm. And link them to each other. So what I'm trying to say now in case of the biological neural network, there is a neuron. Then neuron is having different components like dendrites, exon, etc, etc. With the help of that, our uh, we can perform the different activity. We can perform the different computation, etc, etc. Now, if you want to replicate same kind of system in case of the robot, then how it can be done? That is my question. Hmm. Yes. How it can be done? How the artificial brain can be developed? There must be a, some some answer in your mind. You should uh, share it with me. It might be a right, wrong, doesn't matter. So that we can proceed the discussion on that. Hmm? If you don't speak so up. So artificial. Hmm. Ah, yes. So artificial neuron means uh, mathematical statistics hmm. functions. Hmm. Good. Because the neuron section is not possible, like biological neuron. Yes. In case of the robots, we cannot have the natural brain that is being present in the mm -hmm. human being. It is not possible to uh, create that, like uh, creation of the dendrites and that kind of nerve cells uh, in the natural way in yes. case of the robot. So we have to yes, create sir. such a kind of model. We have to create such mm -hmm. a kind of model which will replicate the same activity of the yes. human nervous system. Is it like that? Yes. And, yes. Working to, and create, function. to yes. create that kind of model, we need what we need then we need to utilize the various kind of complex algorithm, mathematical functions. Plus this, this mathematical function, complex algorithm, we need to apply with some kind of uh, intelligent hardware systems yes or no integrated chips yes. will require yes, we need to integrate with some different kind of circuits etc etc and when we develop such a kind of uh, artificial brain with the help of that circuits integrated chips vlsi designs complex algorithm mathematical function then that kind of that kind of system is called as what artificial brain and when we create each of these different when we create such kind of artificial neurons just like the we have seen yesterday the biological neuron in structure so we have to when we create some billions millions of artificial neuron each of these artificial neuron will consist of some mathematical function you know to run that we need some complex algorithm programming some circuits when we connect these all artificial neurons together then that network which get formed that is called as what the artificial neural, neural network. network got the Networks. point yes sir. the the art the biological neuron that single neuron structure yesterday we have discussed okay so same kind of artificial neuron we have to create that is already getting created understood and that kind of artificial neurons, just like in the human brain, there are billions of neurons are present. Okay. And that billions of neurons are connected to each other and then they form the biological neural network. When we replicate such kind of neurons with some artificial neurons, now in order to form the artificial neurons, what we need, we need the different circuits, chips, designs, complex algorithm, mathematical function. And when we connect these artificial neurons to each other, that network which get formed, that network is then called as what? Artificial neural 
network got this network. point yes sir so that is nothing but referred as the artificial neural network and so same point i have mentioned in the next few slides so different scientists and the computational neurobiologists have constructed very explanatory and elaborative computer model of neurons you know to run the detailed simulation of the particular circuits in the brain just like the biological brain works simulation of that biological brain can be done with the help of the particular circuits understood so scientists have implemented such a model neurons in with the help of the hardware as some electronic circuits often being integrated on some vlsi chip along with some complex algorithms and the programs so just yesterday we have seen the biological neuron forms with the help of some dendrites axon synopsis nucleus etc etc so here the artificial neurons will form with the help of some circuits with the help of some integrated vlsi chips with the help of some complex algorithm mathematical function with the help of that our artificial neuron will form so you must get here what is the difference between the biological neurons and what is the difference between uh, what is the difference between the biological neuron and artificial neurons i hope you must have got the difference between the biological neuron and artificial neuron both of the neurons are being built with the aim in the mind that both will perform the same functionality but the component which is present in this biological neuron and artificial neuro artificial neurons are same or the different components of the biological neuron and components of the artificial neuron will same or different yes which are the components of the biological neurons biological neuron form with the help of which components mathematical mathematical models biological neuron biological natural neuron sorry hmm the neuron which is present in our brain it is formed with the help of which component yesterday we have seen that nervous system that nervous system is having the collection of neurons so that neurons is having different components elements which are that dendrites axon dendrite axon nucleus etc etc artificial neuron is having which elements chips mathematical models yes chips mathematical functions algorithm circuits etc etc so this concept you need to understand then and then only you can understand what exactly is the artificial neural network so in the biological neural network we connect different biological neurons together billions of millions of biological neurons together and then our biological neural network forms in case of the artificial neural network when we connect these artificial neurons together that network which form that is called as what the artificial neural networks so an artificial neural network is the component of artificial intelligence main component of artificial intelligence without the ann artificial intelligence cannot work so that's why here i have mentioned ann is the component of artificial intelligence that is meant to simulate or copy or replicate the functioning of the human brain so when we create the ann just like the biological neural network the main aim behind that is what it should perform the activity the same kind of activity that is being performed by the human brain and that's why we need to create the artificial neuron within the ann okay so in the modern sense the artificial neural network is composed of the various kind of artificial neurons or the various kind of nodes or which is also being referred as various kind of processing units artificial neurons can be called as the various kind of processing units or computational units this thing you should keep in mind okay artificial neuron can be referred by another term that is the processing units or the computational units okay that structure we are going to see so the artificial neural network is made up of the various kind of artificial neurons for solving the different kind of artificial intelligence 
problem so just like in our human body there is a biological neurons you know to solve the various kind of human intelligence problems so here same we have the artificial neurons which is being there to solve the various kind of artificial intelligence problem so in the further part also i have mentioned the same thing that we have discussed now so nn are the computing system what it is the computing system purely inspired by the biological neural network that constitute the animal brain so nn artificial neural network is being formed with the help of the biological neural network just like the biological neural network works the way biological neural network consists of various biological neurons and different components in the similar way by taking the reference of the biological neural network artificial neural network is being builded okay so an nn is based on the collection of connected units or processing units or nodes just i told you what nn is consist of what various kind of connected units or the processing units or nodes that is being referred as the artificial neurons okay which are being loosely model the neurons in the biological model which will replicate or simulate the neurons which is present in the biological brain okay means the way biological neurons perform in the similar way artificial neurons are being made to perform the activity like the biological neurons okay so just like in the biological neuron we have the uh, connections like the synapses are there in the biological brain which are used to transmit the signal to the different neurons same kind of connections are also there in the artificial neural network to transmit the signal from one to transmit the signal from particular one neuron to the other neuron okay so here also another definition of the nn i have mentioned nn is the piece of the computing system or it is the computing system designed to simulate simulate means what i hope you are getting the meaning of simulate number of times i told you piece of computing system designed to design to simulate or design to replicate or design to copy the human brain system okay means what just the way human brain works in the similar way artificial neural network is being made that's why i have written here the ann is the piece of computing system our brain also perform the computation in the similar way ann is being built to perform the some kind of computing system designed to simulate simulate in the sense replication or the copying the way human brain analyze and process the information as you know the human brain also analyze the different things it perform it process the different information then perform the activity on that information using that information it can take the decision in the similar way artificial neural network is also being built to perform this kind of various analysis and process the information okay so it is a foundation or the main component of artificial intelligence which solve the problem that will prove the impossible or difficult by the human being or statistical standard so artificial neural network can perform the activity which is more faster as compared with the human brain also okay because of the kind of things we use to build the various kind of artificial neuron just like the human brain is human biological neural network is having the self learning capability just like a human learns number of activities by his own in the similar way ann is also having the self learning capabilities artificial neural network is also having the self self learning capabilities that enable them to produce the better results as more data becomes available the more data become available the more uh historical data is being become available for the artificial neural networks more its experiment experience get increase then from that it learns the more things it learns the number of things and from that its learning capabilities get increase the it is same like the human being the way human being perform the the way human being learn the different things the way human beings experience get increase its learning capabilities get increase in the similar way ann learning capabilities also get increase but here in case of the ann its learning source is what its learning source is the different kind of data available okay so that is the basic uh, part related with the artificial neural networks okay 
let's come to the point that is the structure of neuron which is being there in the artificial neural network just like yesterday we have discussed the structure of the biological neuron and that biological neuron consists of the different components this is nothing but the structure of artificial neuron the separate question being asked number of times on the artificial neuron structure so this is the structure of the artificial neuron all of you can able to see it yes sir so here you can see the point we were discussing the point we were discussing that artificial neuron consists of the various kind of uh, uh, different kind of circuits mathematical function complex algorithm etc etc so here it look like this okay so here you can see this is the single artificial neuron okay which is being also called as which is being also called as processing unit also which is also called as the processing unit also or which is being also called as connecting unit also or we can refer it by the single node also okay so now we have to just uh, apply the concept that we have studied yesterday regarding the biological neural network as we have discussed in the biological neural network it consists of dendrites nucleus and exon etc etc now you tell me which are the components here just like the artificial neuron uh, just like the biological neuron स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द बायोलॉजिकल न्यूरॉन यस्टडी वी हेव डिस्कस दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द आर्टिफिशियल न्यूरॉन ना वॉट काइंड ऑफ कंपोनेट्स यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग इयर दैट इज आई एम आस्किंग यू वॉट डिफरेंट थिंग्स यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग इयर yes which different things you are looking at here are you able all of you able to see this yes or no yes sir yes what things you are observing here i hope all of you are having the working eyes what you are observing here yes or you are not looking anything here you could not able see anything here dendrites where is the dendrites here number of input you can see the number of inputs are there then summation summation function you can look at here then yes sir activation function you can see the activation function is there you can see the different then weights output. are there and then yes. you can see the output is there output there so these are the different output. components which is being performing the activities of different elements which is in present in the biological neuron you cannot see here the dendrites exon it is not possible that these are the natural element present in the biological neuron so we have to replicate their activity here with the help of different with the help of the different weights with the help of different summation function activation function that is being referred as the different mathematical function and with the help of the different circuit so this is nothing but your artificial neurons look like okay so this is the basic structure of artificial neural network neurons which consist of artificial neurons now this is just similar to the biological neuron in the human brain here components are different but its functionality is just similar to the 
artificial neuron so that's why i have mentioned here the basic structure of artificial neural network consist of the artificial neuron which is similar to the biological neuron in the human brain that are group into the layers okay now these particular things you are observing here this is the input part this is the input part then this is the output part okay and this is also the one more part is there okay now this particular neurons this this particular things is also get divided into different layers that we are going to see in the types of the ann okay so that's why i have mentioned here this is being get divided into the different layers which where this particular part can be also considered as a input layer okay and this particular part can also referred as a output layer output. okay so just the separation of the activity can be done by dividing it into the group of the layers okay so the most common artificial neural network structure consists of the different kind of input layers one or more hidden layers and the output layers also regarding these layers we are going to see in the types of the ann okay so this is being also referred as the artificial neuron or it is being also referred as the processing unit which make which create the artificial neural network so how the artificial neural network forms artificial neural network forms with the help of billions of millions of these artificial neurons or billions of millions of this kind of processing units okay unit. same thing i have mentioned here processing units make the artificial neural network which in neural turn network. consist of the inputs and outputs now here in this artificial neuron or in this processing units you can easily see some kind of input is given from here like x1 x2 up to the xn so this input is what what do you mean by the input innumerable inputs are nothing but the different kind of data yes or no in case of the artificial neural network input is nothing but the various kind of data understood data. now with this data some weights are also added here this weight you can see w1 w2 up to the w x wm etc what do you mean by this weight now when we give training when we give training to that particular uh, artificial neurons now that time some value is get added some value is get added with this particular what we can say each of these inputs or each of these data that is being referred as a weights so with each particular input you can see the weights okay each with each with input you can see the different weights are there okay so here i have mentioned inputs are nothing but the source data with an artificial neural network from which the ann learn to produce some desired output so from these given inputs from these given inputs with some added weights here lastly we get the some kind of output now between this part now what this part does this part does the computation this part does what computation or the processing getting yes this middle part doing what computation or the processing and after performing the computation and processing some output get generated now what do you mean by, what do you mean by this output just like in the human brain you receive some inputs from the environment and then you perform some action just like yesterday we have seen the example when at the time of exam you have to wake up the different signals get generated in, in your brain okay and the signal which is having the highest strength that signal get activated same thing is happen here different input signals you can consider this as a different input signals okay now processing of this different input signal happens here with the help of the various kind of activation function so what is the activation function activation function is also the one kind of what we can consider as a mathematical function okay there are the different kind of activation function that we we'll discuss so here these inputs are sum up with these weights and whatever the whatever the output here that will be given to the activation function then activation for activation function performs some uh, processing and then the output will get generated okay so let's see the some details regarding this in the next part so just like in the human brain okay in the human brain neurons communicate by sending signal to each other through the complex connection 
as you have seen yesterday in the similar way on the base of that only artificial neural network are based on the same principle the principle where in the biological neurons are being communicate with each other by sending the signal on the same principle ann are based where the different artificial neuron try to simulate the learning process the way human human brain neurons learns okay but here the artificial neural network neurons learn with the help of what they learn with the help of the various kind of complex algorithms this thing you should understand what the artificial neurons in case of the ann how they learn with the help of the different complex algorithms and the programming that we have to write with the help of that our neurons works we have to give training to the neurons okay with the help of the complex algorithms and the programming and then our artificial neural network form you are getting this point yes it is not, just like the human being learn from the various experiences but here experience in case of the artificial neurons is what we have to give the we have to provide some data then we have to utilize some complex algorithm and then our artificial neuron uh, will learn and then our artificial neural network will perform the activity just like the human brain okay so here i have mentioned every connection has a weight attached with it which may have either positive weight or the which the particular weight can be the positive value or the negative value associated with it negative now value. when we give the training when we give training to the this artificial neuron with some inputs with some data that time these weights are nothing but some values these weights are nothing but some values are being combined with these inputs now these weights can be a positive values or they can be a negative value associated with that particular inputs okay when the weights are positive see here when the weights are positive it activate the neurons means what when weights are positive which are combined with these inputs what it does it activate the neurons means excitatory signal get generated are you getting yes when weights are positive which kind of signal get generated excitatory now excitatory signal that yesterday we have discussed in case of the biological neurons here neurons get artificial neurons get activated means what excitatory signals get generated and when negative weights are there then what which signal will get generated inhibitory inhibitory excitatory excitatory signal does what excitatory apnal kai tari protsan deta kai tari karnyasathi inhibitory signal does what it stop you doing Negative. something understood tar he je aaye kai tari karayla protsan dene ani kai stop you to do uh, and uh, stopping you to do something that is being decided on the basis of what on the basis of this given inputs okay as you can see with each of this connection there is some weight attached now what do you what do you what is the meaning of this weight from weight what things can be get decided as you can see i have mentioned every connection has a weight attached which may be either positive or the negative what do you mean by the positive weight what do you mean by the negative weight yes what is the meaning of positive weight and what is the meaning of negative weight Hmm. Positive and activate the neuron. Yes, means what? Activate the neurons means. Uh, means. I think I got it. Okay. It it encourages to do something. That is the meaning of positive weight and negative weight. What? It it prohibits. Do not something. Stop you doing something. अतः हे जे हे जे अपन biological biological neurons में दे हे ऍक्टिव्हिटी कशाच्या थ्रू कशाच्या थ्रू परफॉर्म केले जातात थ्रू व्हिच एलिमेंट दिस ऍक्टिव्हिटीज गेट डिसाइडेड इन बायोलॉजिकल न्यूरॉन थ्रू द सिनॅप्सिस यस ऑर नो थ्रू द एक्साइटेटरी सिनॅप्सिस एंड थ्रू द 
इनहिबिटर्स नाम से इनहिबिटर्स और ये क्या है ये तो आप लोग एक वी हैव टू यूटिलाइज द डिफरेंट वी हैव टू यूटिलाइज हियर द सम काइंड ऑफ व्हाट यू कैन से सम पैरामीटर्स वी हैव टू यूटिलाइज मैथमेटिकल पैरामीटर्स वी हैव टू यूटिलाइज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द वेट गॉट दिस पॉइंट यस सर then here i have in detail i have mentioned uh, regarding the weight also weight as a parameter weight represent the strength of the connection between these different units if the weight from the node 1 to the node 2 node is nothing but the also you can refer the node as a neurons also okay node is the another word for the neurons if the weight from the node 1 to the node 2 has a greater magnitude it means that neuron 1 has a greater influence over the neuron to a weight decide the importance of input value if the weight of the neuron 1 is greater than the weight of the neuron 2 then which which activity will get be which activity will get performed activity of the neuron 1 or activity of the neuron 2 if the neuron 1 is having the higher weight as compared with the neuron 2 then activity of which neuron will get performed neuron 1 activity or the neuron 2 activity neuron 1 definitely the neuron 1 activity will get performed that's why i have mentioned here a weight on neuron decide the importance of the input value and accordingly the activity can be get decided okay one more component you can see here which is most important the bias all of you can able to see yes sir which is been gets uh, uh, combined here through the summation function now bias is what it is the it is considered as a constant okay and it is being always considered as a one so here i have mentioned bias as a constant are the additional input to the next layer that will always have the value one the bias you need guarantee that even when all the inputs are zero there will still be an activation in the neuron this is very important now even you are not doing any kind of activity okay let's uh, see the example of human being first even you are not doing any kind of activity still your brain remains in some active situation is it correct no sir yes if you yes. even if you are not doing any kind of activity your your brain used to be in some, in some kind of active mode no sir no no sir all of you want to say the no means what you want to say when you are sleeping also your brain is not not in the active condition yes sir active condition is it in the active condition or not yes sir active condition means what i am trying to show what i what i trying to say even human being is not doing any kind of activity there is a some part in our brain which used to be in the active mode is it correct yes sir yes, yes sir so in case of the artificial neuron to keep the artificial brain to keep the artificial brain in the active mode even even the robot is not doing any kind of activity or even that artificial agent is not doing kind any kind of activity still to keep that brain still to keep that artificial brain in the active mode there is the utilization of bias you are got the point bias and that's why its value is always set to the one understood here that's why i have mentioned the bias should guarantee that even when all the inputs are zero when all the inputs are zero in the sense what is there any activities going on no sir no so even all the inputs are zero there will be a still an activation in the neuron you are getting the point even there is a no yes, activity being performed the neuron need to be in the active mode and that that is being set with the help of which component bias component got the point got the meaning of bias yes sir so what is what is the functionality of bias element to keep the neuron in the active mode even there is a no activity happening understood yes sir to keep the to keep the to keep the artificial brain awake every time to keep the artificial brain awake 
every time even in the human being human being the brain of the human being always in the active mode even you are sleeping also yes or no even we are sleeping also our brain used to be in the always in the awake mode yes or no always be in the yes, active mode yes sir we feel that it is we feel that as we are sleeping our brain is also sleeping but it is not like that understood yes sir so that kind of uh, you know to do you know to keep your brain uh, you know to keep the artificial brain in and the activation there is a utilization of the bias element okay now in the figure you can easily see the part that we have discussed figure shows the network structure with some inputs these are the inputs x1 x2 up to the xn being connected to the neurons with some weights so each of these each of these inputs being having some weight associated with that okay that is i have mentioned here so the neuron sum all the signal it receive with each signal being multiplied by associated with weights on the connection and then the activation function generates some output like y output i have shown you okay so here you can see the summation function so in the summation all the features are multiplied multiplied by their weights and bias are sum up so here here what activity is getting performed see it's a main Sum. it's very important summation summation of what and what summation of weight plus summation of in these inputs plus bias bias then this is being get created here okay mag yacha madun je output whatever the things will generated from this summation function that will be given to whom activation function activation function आणि मग कुठली ऍक्टिव्हिटी परफॉर्म करायची किंवा करायची नाही विच ऍक्टिव्हिटी टू परफॉर्म और वेदर टू नॉट परफॉर्म दॅट इज डिसाइडेड बाय विच फंक्शन ऍक्टिव्हेशन ऍक्टिव्हेशन फंक्शन ऍक्टिव्हेशन फंक्शन डिसाइड इट विथ व्हॉट एव्हर द इनपुट इट रिसीव फ्रॉम दिस समेशन फंक्शन अँड देन फायनल आउटपुट विल बी गेट जनरेटेड दिस इज द आउटपुट ऑफ द सिंगल निरॉन or this is the output of whole ann yes yes sir is this is the output of the single neuron or not yes sir yes this is the output of what single neuron then again this output is being given to the next neuron yes or no yes sir you are getting this output is then given to the next neuron and then again to the next neuron and that is the reason why i referring it as artificial neural network correct or not yes sir. yes sir and accordingly the different activities get performed in the artificial brain in the robots okay so same thing i have mentioned here the output of the each neuron is computed by some linear on the non linear function of some of its input the activation functions are linear also activation functions are non linear also that we will see which functions are being considered as activation function okay neurons and edges are typically have the weight that adjust the learning proceed okay so using these different weights the training is given to the neurons etc etc okay weight increases or the decreases and accordingly strength of the signal also get increase or the decrease decrease then here in the specifically i have mentioned the activation function so activation function are nothing but some kind of mathematical, mathematical equation, equation that determine the output of neural network the main work of the activation function is what converting the input into the output in short term, in short uh, uh, in the shorter way what main main function of the activity function is what activation function Conver is what conversion of the inputs into the outputs okay output so the function is attached to the each neuron each neuron is having the activation function in this network and that activation function determines whether it should be activated or not means whether it should perform some activity or whether it should not perform some activity it is big it is get decided why with the help of what it is get decided with the help of the activation function okay so same point i have mentioned here this function is attached to the each neuron in the network 
and that determines whether it should be activated whether it should be fire or whether it should not be get activated and this is being get decided based on whether each neuron input is relevant for the model prediction okay so in the artificial neural network the activation function of the node defines output of that node given an input or set of input so whatever the inputs are being provided on the basis of that the activation function will apply on that and then some kind of output will be get generated and there this output is nothing but the performing some kind of activity so a standard integrated circuit can be seen as a digital network of activation function now this there is a utilization of some circuits also okay some integrated circuits chips integrated circuit in the sense the ic or the chips and with the help of that the activation function is get uh, activation function is get uh, in the running mode and then it fire some uh, ac action and accordingly you can see the robot perform some activity uh, the it can be a positive activity or the negative activity okay so now when at which certain point this activation perform some activity okay there must be a some starting point yes or no when this this activation function will going to generate some value yes or no this activation function will going to generate some value correct yes or no output of the activation will be what some kind of value and the, on the basis of that value some action will be taken is it like that yes what will be the output of the activation function will it be a some value or not yes sir the activation function after doing some computation after doing some processing it will also perform some value and when it reaches to some particular value when it reaches to some particular value then the action will be get performed is it like that there needs to be some particular limit there needs to be some particular scale there need to be some particular uh, value if the activation function reaches to that value then only the activity will be get performed then the activity will be get fire is it like that yes or yes, if the sir. activation perform any value then the activity will then uh, then also the activity will be get performed is it like that based on the any value can the activity will be performed or some specific value need to be generated any value any value if the activation function reaches to the any value then activity will be get performed then how how the certain how the specific activity will get performed whether to do something or whether to not to do something do something so to do something or not to do something this activation function need to produce some value okay it need to produce some value and when it produce some that when it produce that value that value is referred as the threshold what that value is referred as what threshold value threshold what do you mean by the threshold before this you must have heard about the threshold what is the meaning of threshold threshold means what yes threshold value threshold means what some specific value yes or no threshold value means what some specific value or not you have not heard the word threshold before this
yes now if in the activation function it is being it is being uh, mentioned that activity will get performed only if if the value generated by the activation function is between 0 to 1 what when the activity will be get performed when the when the value generated by the activation function between 0 to 1 then only the certain activity will get performed then this value between the 0 to 1 can be considered as a threshold value yes sir so that is i am trying to say in order to activity will in, in order to perform the activity with the help of the value of the activation function this activity function need to perform some need to generate some value and if that value is crossing this threshold or or, or is the if the if that value is according to the threshold then only some signal will be get generated understood that's why i have mentioned here neurons may have threshold value such that signal is sent only if the aggregate signal crosses that threshold if you are considering the threshold as a 0.5 if you are considering the threshold as a 0.5 now in order to generate the signal with the help of the activation function in order to generate the signal with the help of the activation function this particular the value generated by the activation function need to be cross 0.5 yes or no if you are considering the threshold value as a 0.5 now when the signal will be get generated when the value generated by the activation function will cross the threshold what is the threshold for example here we are considering the threshold as a for example 0.5 correct now when the activity will be get perform when the value generated by the activation function will cross this 0.5 means it should be a 0.51 0.52 etc etc understood so based on the predefined threshold value based on the predefined threshold value if the activation function generate the value which is crossing this threshold value then only some signal will be get generated and that is the utilization of the threshold value in the activation function so here i have mentioned a threshold is the any amount or it is the any level or limit on the scale so it is being decided by the activation it is being decided uh, by the uh, activation function we, how much should be the threshold value and after generating which value by the activation function if that value crossing this threshold value then only some output will be get generated okay so as already i told you these different neurons as i mentioned if uh, if there are the neurons at this level this is being considered under the which layer input layer okay if neurons are at this level these are being considered in the output layer that that layers uh, that layer part we will discuss next time okay you have to just consider you have to just keep in mind neurons are combined into the different layers okay okay and different layers are having their different uh, activity to be get performed okay so like there are the input layers there are the output layers also hidden layer is also there that we will discuss when we discuss the types of the ana okay so here main purpose of our activation function is nothing but to convert the weighted sum of input signal of neuron into the output signal simply to convert the input into the output and output it can convert that with the help of the, uh, the activation who is doing that activity activation function with the help of some, with the help of some threshold value etc etc if the value generated by the activation function is great, is greater than the threshold then certain kind of activity will be get performed performed then so point that we should uh, understand next one with the question is also asked number of times the different kind of activation function i already we have discussed what is the activation function what is its role etc etc so there are the various kind of activation functions are being utilized like this is the first one the linear function it take the input multiplied by the weight for each neuron it take the input like this okay 
which is being multiplied by the weights and create the output signal proportional to the input okay but the another thing related with the linear function is what it produce the multiple outputs now what do you mean by the multiple outputs you just keep in mind you will understand what do you mean by the multiple outputs when we discuss the next function so you have to just keep in mind the linear function produces the multiple outputs how by by multiplying the inputs with the weights and the uh, adding it with the bias okay so another kind of uh, uh, actuation function is there which is the heavy side step function okay and this is the most commonly and mostly utilized actuation function in the neural network and this produces the binary output binary output in the sense what output only in the form of the zero and one what output only in the form of what zero and zero one. one but one. previous function that i said linear function that produces the multiple output now what do you mean by the multiple outputs and the binary outputs multiple output in the sense like 0.1 0.2 likewise that is produced by which uh, which activation function linear activation function understood and on the basis of activity will get decide but this function heavy side step function will generate which values only binary only binary mm -hmm. only 0 or 1 and 1 when it produces the 1 which in which we know one in the sense true now when it produces the one you can see here the function produces the one or two when input passes threshold limit and it produces the zero or false when input does not pass the threshold now already i told you the threshold some specific yes, value sir. some specific value value if if the specific value decided is for example 5 how much 5 now five. after giving the input and summation i am summating it with the uh, this weights and the bias and then processing performed by the activation function if it produces the value which is greater than this 5 for example i am telling you 5 is what threshold threshold value barobar threshold value 5 is a threshold value ata it these inputs and this input has to be combined with what this weight and the bias correct that is yes, done sir. by what this summation function understood yes. summation function kadun je kai generate hoil te kunala dile jail activation function mag activation function g value generate karnar ahe for example activation function generate the 4 i am just telling you the example ha huh? if the activation function generate the 4 then tell me which binary output will be get generated by the zero. heavy side same function zero zero will be get generated yes or no but if it if the activation function generate the value 6 6 then what will be the output of the activation function 1 1 exactly that is the thing i have mentioned here the function produces the 1 true when the input passes the threshold limit now what do you mean by the function produces the 1 as a true what is the meaning of this how we can relate threshold its meaning highest yes. threshold limit हाँ थ्रेशोर्ड लिमिट क्रॉस के वन प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम दैट फ्रॉम दैट व्हाट कैन बी व्हाट कैन व्हिच थिंग्स कैन बी डन आउटफेड आउटपुट कैन बी जनरेट मींस इट इज द एनकरेज और द डिस्करेज एनकरेज एक्सैक्टली इट इज व्हाट एनकरेज मींस इट इज इट इज इट इज गिविंग यू द एनकरेजमेंट टू डू समथिंग इज इट लाइक दैट यस सर Yes, sir. It is the encourage. It is the encourage encouragement for robot to perform some activity. It is that is like the meaning of this part. Yes, sir. And when it is zero, 
then what do you mean by that don't do that is it like that if the if the heavy side step function produces the zero means what does not pass it no means don't perform any activity it is the meaning correct yes sir so that is nothing but you are this heavy side heavy side step function step function what? another type of the activation function got the function. meaning yes yes sir yacha if you want to compare this with the linear function linear function fakt zero ani one produce karta ka nahi nahi it produce the multiple output then which is the which is the beneficial to perform to decide which activity to perform heavy side step function or the linear function heavy side step heavy function side. this is also called as non linear function also for your knowledge This is also called as what? Non-linear function. Function. Understood now? Yes, sir. So thoroughly we have discussed the all the basics regarding basics or the main points regarding what exactly is the artificial neuron mm -hmm. and its activity and the role. Still, we have to study different types of the ANN. अपन आतापर्यत फी के एक्जैक्टली वन आर्टिफिशियल न्यूरोन का एक्टिविटी परफॉर्म करते यस और नो एंड हाउ इट डज दैट करेक्ट ओके यू नीड टू गो थ्रू दिस वंस अगेन एंड सो दैट द कंसेप्ट गेट मोर क्लियर ओके सो दैट्स इट फ्रॉम द टूडे लेक्चर ओके टूडे वी आर डिस्कस द मल्टीपल नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स we have first discussed what exactly is the ann then uh, what is the what is the artificial neuron then basic structure of artificial neuron uh, how the different uh, processing activity get perform what is the weight or oh, what is the bias then uh, we have seen the how this processing and summation happens okay then also we have discussed regarding the what is exactly the activation, activation function, function. what is the role of the threshold value here i hope you have got the threshold value yes sir yes, okay sir. so it is a specific value we cannot say uh, it is a it is a it is a part of that complex algorithm to decide the particular threshold value etc etc understood but we have seen with the help of the threshold value how the activation function can decide whether to perform the activity or whether to not perform the activity correct yes mm -hmm. yes sir Okay, so that's it from the today's lecture. Okay, next time uh, we will discuss regarding the types of the ANN. That is the last part of uh, our this unit. Okay. Yes, sir. Tomorrow I will ask the question on this topic, so you need to go through all this so that you yes, can sir. understand the next part. Shall we stop here now? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you all of you. Thank, thank you, sir. sir.